Step 4. Programming the app. First, we add the internet permission to the file androidmanifest.xml. So enter users permission android name android.permission.internet. Edit the Java file main activity.java and implement the interfaces response.listener and response.errorListener and override their corresponding methods. So we enter implements response.listener with JSON object class and response.errorListener then press alt enter to add their corresponding methods. The reason that we are using a response.listener, the class JSON object, because the data sent from the server are in JSON format. Also, we need to implement on click listener interface to handle a button click. So, enter on click listener and press alt enter. Now we need to declare the following objects and variables. So we enter button btn get rate. Text view, text view client number, comma, text view client rate. Edit text, edit text client number, string URL, request queue, queue, and JSON object request, request. In onCreate method, call the method initialize that initializes the widgets. So we type initialize, then press alt enter to quickly create its prototype method. In the body of this method, we enter btn get rate equals find view by id r dot id dot btn get rate. btn get rate dot set on click listener this. Text view client number equals find view by id or dot id dot text view client number. Text view client rate equals find view by id or dot id text view client rate. And last, edit text client number equals find view by id r dot id dot edit text client number. In onclick method, we make a request to the server. So, we type the following instructions. We start by surrounding the code between try and catch exception in order to handle and process any error. For example, when the edit text client number is empty. So we type try, then catch between parentheses exception E. In the exception section, we make a toast, so we enter toast dot make text this e dot get message then toast dot length long dot show in the try section we convert the client number to int so we type int c number equals integer dot value of edit text number 
dot get text dot to string. Then we create a new request Q. So we enter Q equals volley dot new request Q between parentheses this. Next, initialize URL to URL equals HTTP column slash slash 192.168.1.9 slash project request slash get client rate with get dot php question mark client number equals plus c number now we build a request to send to the server using the get method so we type request equals new json object request between parentheses request.method.get comma url comma node comma this comma this and last we send the request to the server so we enter q dot add between parentheses request as you observe the constructor of JSON object request has five parameters. The first parameter corresponds to the method of submission of the web page, where in this project we are using the method get. The second parameter corresponds to the URL to invoke, including the parameter to pass to the server. The third parameter correspond to a JSON object to send it within the request. Because there is no data to send, this parameter has the value now. The fourth parameter correspond to the listener to receive the response. So, it references to the response listener method in this class. And the last parameter correspond to the listener to receive errors. So, it references to the error listener method in this class.